After a very long time, we are seeing that the Pixel Plus UI new update has been rolled out for many devices such as right now I am having the Redmi Note 10 Pro which is called Suite and in this update I will gonna cover what we you are getting in this update so far. So if you are new to this channel and watches custom ROM content related to this then you must subscribe to my channel. So let's get started with the video. So first of all I will start from the settings and what we are getting in this update first of all let us go to about phone section and we can see it is based on Android 13 and we got a new logo of Pixel Plus UI. It is based on 5.3 version and release type is official and maintainer is Pavan Padmata what it is called I don't know and the Android version is 13 that is too good to see and it is the pre-applied wallpaper that you can see on the device and I am seeing that it is fully working on the monitor design. If you just change the wallpaper theming then it will automatically get changed even this also automatically gets changed. This is the February 6th sorry February 5th security update with the kernel version of Phantom kernel as you can see that with the build date of two stay February 21 and the ceiling status is enforcing which is too much important for any sort of custom rooms and any device. Now let us dive out and see what we are getting in the settings also. So first of all, this is the network internet settings. You are getting, what do you say, internet options and have as, I haven't faced any issues in the Wi-Fi as far as I can tell and the calls and SMS are also having no issues. You can see that the Wi-Fi call does also have a little bit issue that whenever you connect to a Wi-Fi, please disable the Wi-Fi calling then the Wi-Fi calling will work. There is a connectivity check and adaptive connectivity option that is given over there in this device. Now talking about connected device, these were the normal things, nothing more to talk about. Pixelizer here comes in the customization part. I will talk later part of, uh, in the video for that. This is the app section. You get the default application with the pixel launcher and you all know that we don't get any sort of customizations in that criteria. This is the battery and uh, here's the optimization profiles is given but optimization profiles isn't working so I will not gonna recommend to use op any optimized profiles because it is not working it is getting a degraded versions so this was the my supposed to be battery usage I did like my battery usage because I have uh, heavily not uses but I generally uses Twitter Instagram and many other uh, social sites YouTube YouTube studios for some sort of work and some camera recording for the videos so not much getting changes here's the option of battery percentage you can see in the status bar two also there but it is not working as i can see you this is the display section you get the lock screen with the ambient display over there and you can see that aod is working fine and you can get the this nutting font right now this is all for this not a new things has been given and if flicker mode is also been there this is called dc dimming as you already know that dc dimming is also been supported in this room and here it comes with a max peak brightness now the wallpaper styles nothing new has been added you get this 5 cross 5 support also over there but i generally like that so i have just enabled those and this is a split ease menu nothing new has been there and this is what system gets here is the app languages and you can see how many app languages there not much of the app languages support is being provided over here and this is all for this this is a gestures option. You get the gesture navigation with few of the customization like pill length. You can increase or decrease or even hide that according to usage. Not much of the new customizations. Every customizations is working in this sort of criteria. And already talked about much more. You get the pro updater. I would recommend to don't use these sort of uh, uh, what do you say updaters. Please try to flash manually. But if you have older 5.2 version, you can do flash this room. And guys, if you're watching this video for these devices and any tech related thing, please subscribe because it doesn't really cost you, but it really creates me a lot of motivation to make these such videos. So now this is all for what do you say? Things. Now I have took some of the benchmarks. First of all, I would like to talk about the 3D Mark application. I have ran the slingshot extreme test and I'm not happy with the physical physics test part one, which is of 48 FPS. And in other rooms, it gets to 60 FPS, but in this, it's supposed to get 48. Not happy with this. Here's the wildlife score and this is okay she score, not much over that. Now, again, I took that, what do you say, Geekbench 6 latest version and it is, uh, we all know it is has the boosted scores. As you can see, uh, we can't get any history options, so I have to just take the screenshots of that. 
and this is the drm certification you get that l1 certification over there so you don't think that you are not getting any sort of issues this will properly work fine you are getting the pixel photo spoofing over there and it is working fine you are getting in the device certification and you can see that the device is being certified over there and this is where the geekbench result with the 719 of single core score and 1644 of multi core score that is pretty impressive to be seen right now and this is all for this room now let us dive to talk about the dolby atmos we are getting the dolby atmos support and it is working damn great it provides such a good quality of sound you will not complain about these this is a safety net status test i am running it currently in the video and you can see that it is passed as far as i can tell you so you aren't getting any sort of issues over this and in terms of mine what do you say recommendation i will going to highly recommend this custom room to if you are what do you say sort of tired of using that old room then you must try it it is not the best but yeah you can try out this custom room if you tired of this old what do you say in terms of pixel os and pixel experience it comes out to be better so if you really did enjoy the video thanks to you all that you have enjoyed and keep watching keep liking and i'm going to meet you in the next video till then bye bye